The seabed is the last unexplored frontier on our planet. High costs of research in the marine environment, the use of bulky equipment, and lengthy stretches of time at sea are some of the main obstacles that have so far hampered the systematic study of the sea depths. To overcome some of the problems encountered in seabed mapping, sea floor characterization, and underwater seismic exploration, the three-year Why Must project was launched in February 2015. Funded by the European Commission within H2020 and coordinated by the Italian Inter-University Center on Integrated Systems for the Marine Environment, ISME, WIMUST stands for Widely Scalable Mobile Underwater Sonar Technology and it aims at developing a system based on a heterogeneous team of cooperative autonomous marine robots for geotechnical surveying and geophysical exploration at sea. The project plans to use two different types of vehicles optimized for the occasion, the Folaga and the Medusa. Traditionally, seismic acoustic surveys are done using a vessel that tows a powerful acoustic source and a group of streamers equipped with hydrophones. The acoustic source generates a sound that penetrates the sea bottom, and the consequent echo is picked up by the hydrophones mounted on the streamers. This setup results in a sort of acoustic antenna, having a fixed geometry depending on how the streamers are towed by the vessel. The idea behind the WIMUS project is to decouple the source and the streamers, mounting the latter on autonomous underwater vehicles, AUVs. In this way, the streamers can be carried closer to the sea bottom, improving the acquired signal's quality while using acoustic sources of lower power and therefore of possibly lower impact on marine mammals. Changing the formation of the robots makes it possible to change the shape of the acoustic antenna. This is very important because in this way, the amount and quality of data extracted from the acoustic signals is potentially higher. Furthermore, the lack of physical ties between the surface vessel and the acquisition equipment may greatly facilitate operations at sea with consequent savings of mission time and operative costs. The WIMUS system will be tested in shallow waters with a team of 7 to 10 AUVs, but the project's methodologies will be applicable to deep water scenarios and larger teams of vehicles.